Hey everyone, it's Paula. I thought I'd do a quick video with some of my finishes. A few of them are FFO'd. Um, most of my stitching so far has been as gifts, so I don't own it anymore. If you can hear a rumbling in the background, please excuse it. It is my fish tank. My fugly. The one that's lying on the ground, he's not dead. He's a catfish. They do that sort of shit. He is a port hot float. And if he thinks he's going to be fed, he'll be up, he'll be dancing. Like, there's the baby there. He definitely thinks he's going to be fed. They've been fed twice. They're done. Oh, and I have Persephone. She's in the naughty corner because I'm sick and tired of that skirt. I really am. So she'll go on to another weekly rotation and um, I'll get another chunk done. But, yeah, she's getting there. So anyway, finishes. Uh, this is one that was my daughter Louise. Uh, she's now 21, so it actually hangs in Mason's room at the moment. It's probably going to have to go away. He's just decided that he is nearly seven, and he needs a big boy room, so it's going to be Star Wars all the way. Guess what design I forgot to buy this week. It would be the Star Wars stuff. When I show you my haul, I'll show you everything else I've managed to buy um, from Cloud's Factory. Except for Star Wars. So yeah, it's... Um, sitting on a tree in the rainy day um, I, I framed this myself and I probably should have put something in behind the rain stitches because you can definitely see them however it's done, it's framed, it's on the wall that in itself was an achievement um, this is the piece at home that I love the most it is the Alma Lynn Noah's Art Collector um, I uh, made a few changes most notably I used Grinic for the first time um, and I personalised it, I worked out all the script and everything like that and um, because in 2000 I was brain dead with the baby and with a few other things that I was doing I never got around to mastering French knots so um, they all look nice and even because they're nice little mill hill beads for the eyes but yeah I really do like this one this is another one that I did for Louise, but as I said, you know, she's 21, she ain't gonna want it anymore. So if I do get maybe a baby granddaughter, I'll, uh, I'll do it for her, get it framed. Here is another one. For some reason I didn't frame this. I think it's because the other ones were in pre-made frames and this one is too big for it. Um, I'll eventually get something done, again probably, when I have grandchildren. Um, yeah, no pressure kids, but there you go. Uh, Teresa Wentzler, I've got a few of hers on the go. Um, what I will say is her little ones that she uses as testers for her big designs. I think this is the one that goes with Father Winter. Anyway, they're free on her website, which is twdesignworks.com. Um, they're great instructions. Um, I obviously changed the colours of this one, um, but I learned a few stitches along the way. Pretty happy that they're pretty even. <sighs> Bonus. Um, and yeah, so again, totally recommend those ones for, for learning stuff. Uh, this is her logo. This is Stretch. Um, I've got to unpick. This is from about five years ago. I think it was from, oh, it was one of her designs. Um, the one with the lady in the chariot and the Pegasus. So I want to put uh, Here There Be Dragons or something like that underneath in a medieval script and then get it framed. Um, I think Stretch is quite cool. He's done in a reverse way underneath one of her other designs as well. So I, I did think maybe I should hunt up that chart and put it in reverse. And then I thought, nah, I like my other way. Uh, this is one of her six rocking horse designs. This is Misty, I think. Um, threads are as charted. However, I added some beads for bling, which is, yep, yeah, what I do. So I should send this one off to the framers, get it done for my room. Um, yeah, poor Simon. He'll, he'll have girly stuff all through the room soon. Um, this is on Anne Cloth. It's a Cherish Teddy. I think I did it in 95 or 96, so it's held up quite well. It was on the rocking chair in Louise's room when she was a little girl for a long time, so it um, needs a bit of a bath, but uh, it's not so bad. Not so bad at all been stored for years so I'm quite surprised. 
Now, uh, these, the rest of this pile are the Nora Corbett Miller Mirabilia designs. Um, this is the 2004 Cherub, I think, so it's a free one on the, her website. Um, I changed a lot of the colours um, and so forth, B conversion and so all those things. If you go to my blog, which is so scrapnews.wordpress.com, um, and search conversions, you'll find all the details on there that you can print it out. And uh, if you want to copy it, or if you just curious as to how I got around it, how I worked things out, go for it. Um, yeah, quite pleased with you. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that uh, I played around with the uh, strands on her eyes quite a bit. That'll be the slutty biker chick reference for you, Emily. I've done three of the Orbiton Street birds. I've got, what's that, three more to go? I've got the chart for one more. Um, these are on just a plain 25 count white Lugana because I wanted them to be a specific size. Um, this blue here isn't the one that's charted, but it is, I think, 823. Um, I've used it in each of the designs that I've done so far just to give something that's a bit more continuous apart from the the black and the white. Possibly should have done it on dyed fabric and then I wouldn't have had to stitch all that background. But you know, brain farts, these things come as you go on. Um, here's Fred, he was the first one that I did. Quite happy with him. Huge, huge beads down here though. Um, yeah. And here's another one, and again, that's the 823s up in here through the shading and so forth, so I had to change this one out as well. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with him as well. Uh, my favourite, which is Stargazer, she is on 32 count linen, which is hand-dyed um, EF Sirens Flare. I understand that that is a business, went out of business maybe five or six years ago. Um, Catherine at countrystitch.com has got some very similar fabrics so um, if you want a specific night sky um, she does some really good work I'm using her fabrics on a few things right now um, and she's very very quick so if you're down in the southern hemisphere totally recommend her um, big conversions of course are on my blog um, because I have a handy dandy notebook and as you can see I changed the C for my mother-in-law took a photo of it Wrote everything down, didn't write it down here, which is not very clever. Um, now, Mediterranean Mermaid, I did write down a, this here. Um, as you can see, she was my hospital piece for 2014. Um, Mason has asthma and it took a long time to get it under control. Basically, any time he got a virus, his lungs started producing fluid, which is disgusting, and we would be hospitalised. So this was my piece that I did in hospital, and then he wasn't hospitalised for about eight months, so I pulled it out and finished it in a hurry, because I had all the beads sitting there. So here she is. Um, yeah, so there's a few conversions in there, um, just to change things up. I'm actually thinking about pulling all of this out and redoing it because I did the beads a bit lazily I did them with the same thread that um, the, the string or seaweed is on and I was thinking about maybe changing it to a deep green and maybe changing the beads to a, a deep green as well so it actually does look like seaweed um, not sure, I'll make up my mind um, and there you go silver crown <laughs> I think from memory I changed um, no it's just the beads I changed on there all the Krenik and DMC is as they just charted so I quite like the blend and stuff after you've done one Teresa Winslow doing blends on anything else is just easy um, and here is the sleigh this is the one that I fell in love with Nora Corbett over um, I did convert some of the of the ribbon colours, um, primarily because of the grey of the fabric. Um, no other real reason. Yeah, look at the age of it, and no, I still haven't framed it. 
Um, so, and in there, I've got a blending filament in with some of the red, just to change it up. And I'm using those same ones on the grey that I'm using for my um, Santa's um, reindeer. I'm putting them all together on some 40 count um, Belfast. So this one, that's from Shimmering Mermaid. That's in my office at work. Um, so I did it all in silvers because I'm not actually a fan of that particular design. I just liked the compass. I thought it was quite cool. Uh, some round robins. Oh, yep. Yeah. These guys are up on my blog. Um, I have this chart here still, um, the snippet, and um, she will go up as a giveaway in a few more videos. I want to get to 100 followers and then I'll, I'll do that. There's some other things that I've done. I don't know if I actually have. Well, there we go. There's all her details, so maybe you can pause it, grab whatever you need off there. Although, like I said, it's in a nice tidy table um, that you can print out from my blog. Um, oh yeah, here's my reindeer parade. This is a work in progress at the moment, so as you can see I sort of picked the pictures, mapped out kind of where I wanted them to go. Rudolph's done. Um, this guy's nearly done. But then um, I'm just working out how I'm going to connect the ribbons. I've managed to chart nearly all of it. Um, these trees here, I think I'll do down here on the fabric. Um, and just have them so that they're in the background here. So it sort of all evens through. Um, and then a, just a little bit here. So it's sort of like background to foreground and stuff like that. Um, yeah, there's my plan. It's taking a while because he hasn't in come into rotation. And there you go, I wrote down, no sw snow swirls until the four, four are completed. Yeah. So that's, that's my Notebooks are great things. Oh yeah, Country Cottage Needleworks, I've decided I'm going to change them so that they fit the New Zealand seasons. And uh, I'm angling to get those charts for Christmas. Doing it on something, working out at all, and everything like that. Um, and I keep a record too of um, the ornaments that I've stitched um, that's this year's ones um, and I just keep a record of what I have changed in them because I've done a couple of different things um, some are, are um, stitched already, some are planned um, this one here is framed, yay um, not happy with the frame but it'll do for now and I omitted one of the antlers because I wasn't too keen on it but yeah so thank you very much for watching um have a good week bye